Hello to you guys, this is here as always, welcome back to my channel. Today I came to the place in Vladivostok which called the Green Corner. So you ask me why it is green? It's because this place likes green money. It is biggest car market in Vladivostok and it's famous not only in the Far East but in the whole Russia. Price auto permanently banned. So yeah, let's go inside and find some sanctioned cars. This shop has very bright uh, advertising outside. It says products from Japan, duty-free sale. The cheapest price you cannot find uh, anywhere else. As you know guys, Russia has only Lada brand, so we need more cars to drive. So what do we do? We import cars from Asia. Zelene Ugal has been pretty much always the place where you can come and choose your next favorite Japanese car. I didn't know that they have so much Japanese things here. They can even import Japanese cigarettes. What happened was when the old Western brands have left Russia, Russian entrepreneurs started to import Western brands from South Korea and Japan. When I arrived to Moscow last August for the first time, I was like, what the heck is going on? Why everyone's drive very expensive cars like BMWs, Mercedes, like they are everywhere in Moscow. So how do they come to Russia? This is a big question. I'm not a car expert guys, I never had a car in my life, so I decided since I'm in Vladivostok I will take you to this very interesting place and I will show you around and I will tell you what I know. I remember coming here with my parents to choose our family car, we always had Japanese car, it was Honda and Toyota. This market was really huge in 90s before development of the internet and even now it's big. You can come here and try your physical car before buying it. And so now with development of social medias and internet you can buy car online. So if you would type in Google something like cars from Korea, cars from uh, Japan, you would find hundreds of car dealers that will help you to bring car from outside. The thing is, this way of buying cars from Japan is way cheaper than prices in the western part of Russia. What would people usually do? They would come here to this market or buy your car online. They would come to Vladivostok to pick it up and they would drive across Russia on their new car all the way back to Moscow or other town in Russia. Just had a chat with local guys who sell the car, like actual sellers. So they recommend me to come here because you can touch the real car and choose what you like. It's better than order online. And as a guy said, that 90% of people who come here, they actually from other regions of Russia. So it's a very popular place. Because of the strong fog today, I cannot even see the end of this market. So I'm already lost.
they have to cover their car with protection it's because when you drive in rural russian road especially in the far east uh, little rocks from the road can hit your glass and your car so you better pay money for protection than you pay money for repairing your car in the end i did a russian car journey last summer i have three vlogs on my channel if you didn't see it i highly recommend it because it's very fun but i never drove from vladivostok to moscow and once in my life i want to do it i just came to the downtown of vladivostok and i'm testing new chinese restaurant it is called chinese gossips the interior is very nice it's a bit dark here but it feels very cozy i think they work more like a bar and they serve chinese cuisine i asked local guys from the car market is it actually easy to drive from vladivostok to moscow by car and one of the guys told me like oh it's very easy I spent seven uh, days driving. I just came back from the trip. Prices are very different between Moscow and Vladivostok. So the guys explained me that you can save at least 200,000 rubles, which is more than 2,000 US dollars and up to like 5,000 or maybe 10,000 US dollars. So it's actually cheaper to fly to Vladivostok, buy a car there and drive back other than buying car in Moscow in a normal price. This car was really popular back then in Vladivostok. And even this car has a little advertisement on its number. It says order a car with Pride Carvel. It is not a sponsorship integration. I'm just showing you how popular car business is in Vladivostok. They make it here very nice new area just behind administration of Primorsky region. It is a new business center. And then this magic historical castle looking house with a Georgian restaurant looks very cozy right and if you will go down there will be also a very cute area I wish we have more areas like this in Vladivostok this is our Vladivostok railway road the Trans-Siberian railway starts here I came here because it's the beginning of seaport of Vladivostok and this is a beginning of car market. You can see this green fence, right? So it is custom control zone. Basically, these cars are new. They just arrived to Vladivostok and they waiting for the custom control. I came so close to this custom zone, it's just behind me. So this is area of arrival of all Japanese cars and they arrive here on the big ships. Look at the brands guys, customs control zone. So Kia, Mercedes, Kia, Hyundai. I think they unloaded Korean ship because I can see a lot of Korean brands. Wow, that's a bad boy car. He has very expensive numbers, AAA888. -A -A this is basically border of Russia because when the ship from Korea arrives here, the passenger ship, you would uh, come from the ship by the corridor and you would go here to the border control zone. These Japanese cars were born to live a happy life in a clean Japan and one day someone Caught them, put them on a ship and bring to angry Russia. <laughs> this is real unloading area with a big crans and there will be a big parking lot for new cars and you can read there that closed entrance there are cargo jobs, custom control uh, zone and enter only with permission. Every minute there is 
is a cargo car so I came behind because I don't think I can film closer so this is huge parking lot full of new cars without any numbers and it is also a custom zone What do you guys think about our happy sanctioned life in Russia? Let me down below in the comments. I'm planning to make other video about life under sanctions in Russia, where I will cover all different aspects of life, not only cars. And I want to do it later when I will go back to Moscow. And so now I'm in Vladivostok. And if you have other content ideas about Vladivostok, you can write me that in the comments on this note with this lovely tranquil gray weather of vladivostok i want to say goodbye to you if you want to watch more of my vlogs you can click and watch other vlogs in my channel also you can support my job financially by becoming a sponsor of my channel or sending me a one-time donation the more money i generate with my channel the more adventure you can expect from me so thank you so much guys for staying with me until the end of this video and i will see you very soon in my next one bye bye